Hey there, this is Emma from mm English. Today, we're gonna to be doing some speaking practice together and we're gonna be practicing with the mm English imitation technique. Now, I've talked about this before, we've practiced it together before. It's one of the most effective ways that you can reduce your accent and fix some of those pronunciation problems so that you're speaking English clearly and confidently. Plus, we're gonna be using a lot of the narrative tenses you've been learning over the past few weeks. The past continuous, the past perfect continuous, and the past perfect simple. Very, very exciting to be putting all of that grammar into practice in a speaking lesson. Now, one more thing before we get started. If you are not a subscriber yet, make sure you hit that button down there, turn on notifications so that you never miss one of the mm English lessons. All right? Time to dive in. So if you're new to mm English, you may not have practiced with one of my imitation lessons before. It's really simple. I'm gonna help you practice out loud with me all the way through this lesson. And if you like it, there are several other imitation lessons on my channel and I've also got some imitation courses available on the mm English website get to it up here or the link is down in the description below. Today we're going to practice storytelling in English, an exceptionally important skill to have. I'm going to be sharing a simple story about a coincidence at the supermarket, a coincidence that turned into a disaster. Not an awful disaster, just a funny disaster, a mess. Keep in mind that you can easily exchange my story with your own. Once you practice along with me for a little while, that's what I really want you to do is take the story that I'm using and adapt it, make it your own. An unusual trip to the supermarket. Step one, listen and read. On Monday, I was doing my weekly shopping when I bumped into an old friend of mine. We hadn't seen each other for more than 10 years, so it was a real surprise to see her in my local supermarket. We stopped in the middle of the aisle, mouths open, then hugged and chatted for what felt like ages. It turns out she'd been living overseas, in Istanbul, and had only just moved back home. That's why we hadn't seen each other for so long. While we were talking, another friend wandered up the aisle. It was one of our old classmates from high school. What a coincidence. And it turns out he'd recently become a dad. He had his new baby girl tucked up in the pram. He admitted to us he was just trying to get out of the house for a while. So we decided to go to the cafe next door. We couldn't miss this chance to catch up after all of these years but it turned out to be a disaster. We ordered cake, but it tasted terrible. We ordered coffee, but it never came. When one of the waitresses was rushing to open the door for a customer, she knocked over a huge vase of flowers, which, you guessed it, smashed onto our table and soaked us with water. Fortunately, we were having so much fun reminiscing about old school days that it didn't really bother us too much. Step two, listen and copy me. Now you need to imitate exactly what I say. So that means you're trying to copy my pronunciation, the word stress, the pause in every sentence. You can even try and imitate my facial expressions to practice communicating with more than just words in English. Now there's going to be a pause after each sentence or clause so that you can practice out loud with me, okay? Just try and relax and go with the flow, all right? It's just you and it's me. We're here right now. We're doing some speaking practice together. We're going to have some fun. On Monday, I was doing my weekly shopping. When I bumped into an old friend of mine. We hadn't seen each other for more than 10 years.
So it was a real surprise to see her in my local supermarket. We stopped in the middle of the aisle, mouths open. Then hugged and chatted for what felt like ages. It turns out she'd been living overseas, in Istanbul. and had only just moved back home. That's why we hadn't seen each other for so long. While we were talking, another friend wandered up the aisle. It was one of our old classmates from high school. What a coincidence. And it turns out he'd recently become a dad. He had his new baby girl tucked up in the pram. He admitted to us he was just trying to get out of the house for a while. So we decided to go to the cafe next door. We couldn't miss this chance to catch up after all of these years. But it turned out to be a disaster. We ordered cake, but it tasted terrible. We ordered coffee, but it never came. When one of the waitresses was rushing to open the door for a customer, she knocked over a huge vase of flowers, which you guessed it, smashed onto our table. and soaked us with water. Fortunately, we were having so much fun reminiscing about old school days that it didn't really bother us too much. Step three, shadow me. So now we're moving on to step three, which is a little more challenging than the last one. So don't forget that you can pause here. You can go back and practice section two as many times as you need to before we keep going. It's gonna take a little bit of practice and some time for you to get comfortable and relaxed. So you're gonna shadow me. And that means that you're listening to me and speaking at exactly the same time. And the reason why we're doing this is because I want you to copy the rhythm and the tone that I'm using, the pattern and the sounds that are coming out of my mouth. So even if you get tongue tired and you get stuck trying to make the words come out as quickly as I am saying them, don't worry about it. Focus on following the rhythm. Da 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 da. Follow that rhythm. On Monday, I was doing my weekly shopping when I bumped into an old friend of mine. 
we hadn't seen each other for more than 10 years. So it was a real surprise to see her in my local supermarket. We stopped in the middle of the aisle, mouths open, then hugged and chatted for what felt like ages. It turns out she'd been living overseas, in Istanbul, and had only just moved back home. That's why we hadn't seen each other for so long. While we were talking, another friend wandered up the aisle. It was one of our old classmates from high school. What a coincidence! And it turns out he'd recently become a dad. He had his new baby girl tucked up in the pram. He admitted to us he was just trying to get out of the house for a while. So we decided to go to the cafe next door. We couldn't miss this chance to catch up after all of these years but it turned out to be a disaster. We ordered cake, but it tasted terrible. We ordered coffee, but it never came. When one of the waitresses was rushing to open the door for a customer, she knocked over a huge vase of flowers, which, you guessed it, smashed onto our table and soaked us with water. Fortunately, we were having so much fun reminiscing about old school days that it didn't really bother us too much. So you made it all the way through. Well done. I know that it's a little bit of a mouthful trying to get all of those auxiliary verbs out, right? Trying to get it all sounding natural using those contractions and the linking between words. But now that you're feeling a little more comfortable with my story, why don't you try adapting your own story? You know, have you had any funny coincidences happen to you lately? Run into someone that you haven't seen in a long time. If you have, then share that story down in the comments. See if you can practice using some of the same tenses that we shared in this lesson together. I'll be down to check them out as soon as I can. I'm looking forward to jumping down and reading some of your stories soon. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.